So this was probably the best article of the week. And Business Insider, which has been cranking out bangers right now, yeah. And the fact that they're uh, considered have business in their title at this point is is something else. Yeah, really. yeah. They're they're just a. My husband is a primary breadwinner, and I, this girl's actually we've done an article she wrote uh, years ago. Okay. I think my husband is the primary breadwinner. I stay home with the kids, but our marriage is not traditional. And spoiler alert: it's so. The reason it's not traditional is she doesn't do much. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's like, I don't do the house. Like, he's the breadwinner, but I don't do housework. She goes, I'm a stay-at-home mom. He makes all the money. It's no, no. I know what you're thinking. No, <laughs> no. no. It's just, I don't cook, okay? I don't do any of that shit. Oh, sorry. You were thinking this is traditional? No, I actually no. don't cook or do anything. No, I don't do anything. <laughs> what does she do with her time? Business Insider articles. Oh, okay. She's actually talked a lot about her writing career in the article. Oh, yeah. Husband's the primary earner, but they share the household and parenting duties equally. Seems like a good deal for him. <laughs> yeah, the whole article is just like, my husband's got a crappy deal. Yeah. He makes all the money and I fucking don't do anything. Works 80 hours a week and I just... <laughs> you go, why does he want this deal? And you go, it's because we're well, non-traditional. Well, good luck getting out of it, man. The partnership challenge is traditional gender roles. I, I gotta tell you, it doesn't do that much challenging. Yeah, I it, mean, it it would if you are the breadwinner. I mean, it challenges traditional male patients. <laughs> It was, it was pretty traditional. <laughs> Emphasizing equal contribution and respect. Equal contribution in every other aspect every other, other than yeah. the guy makes all the Who money. He fixes stuff. <laughs> he also fixes he stuff. He fixes stuff. He fixes stuff. Who does the yard work? That's him. He also does the yard Who goes work. to work? That's him. Yes. Our life does not align with the provider, protector, or nurturer, homemaker, because I'm not doing any homemaking. None. It more it it it, prov it it basically aligns more with the nurturer. It goes nurturer, homemaker, uh, blogger, and then nurturer, homemaker, uh, engineer. Sure, actual money making. Um, so basically, the I guess the gist of it is sort of like really rubbing it in not his your face grandma. to be writing the blog about it. Too, <laughs> Pictures huh? in the article has got a picture of me sitting there. He's not looking happy either. Oh I was just sitting there God. with the kids, being like, "Yeah, it's been a pretty it's long." Really, day. like insult to injury on him. Like he, huge. It's almost like, "Hey, I tolerate this. I don't love it." And then she goes, "Hey, you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to publicize this whole thing." I know. It's not bad enough that the <laughs> yeah, guy's got a bad, bad deal. That it's his actual life. Imagine your girl writing an article that, like, yeah, my husband's got a crappy deal. Yeah, my husband's got a, he's just a total bitch. Not your grandmother's trad wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what her point is, is she's not your grandmother's trad wife. You go, what's the difference? You go, I don't cook. I also do some paid work outside of domestic duties. I'm a freelance writer. So she wrote this this article. Okay, Business Insider. <laughs> She's maybe. been working on this article for a while. So imagine coming home and you go, why don't you do anything? You go, I'm writing my article. What's your article about how I don't do anything? <laughs> Which is technically something. Monetize. <laughs> Business Insider maybe monetize your life, fellas. Pays twenty bucks for one of these articles. <laughs> max a hundred. Absolute no max. Not even a hundred. No way. You think there's some rev share on the clicks? Yeah, which is not much. Yeah, so maybe she. We just made her a penny. Yeah, we made her. A <laughs> which, penny. Well, we made the guy a penny. So yeah, yeah. I didn't even. I couldn't. The, the article's paywalled. So, I, and archive the fucking Wayback Machine's been down for like a week. What's the Wayback Machine? Where you can go the archive dot org or whatever. Oh, Pretty crazy, actually. Free it's article plays. Well, and just all the dirt oh, on, on anybody. You, anything. You know, ever usually posted. I when I I forgot. Usually I send you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I find another one, but I guess I. And forgot. And I'm not willing to give Business Insider even one. I guess I did give the money, so I just forget that i'm logged in yeah yeah, yeah. but They're not uh, cheap either these subscriptions are 13 bucks a month subscribe to patreon.com slash the boys yes cast. Uh, please do that the so amount we... of fucking crappy subscriptions i have <laughs> <laughs> so we can bring you all this fucking nonsense <laughs> please consider signing up but uh yeah the wayback machine's been down for like a week which is pretty crazy my desire to use my gifts outside the home was non-negotiable he's very hands-on he does the dishes laundry and grocery shopping what is it that you do? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? I write for Business Insider about how I don't do things. Three times a year? Um, I can't maximum. imagine she's super in demand here. The way we see it, we're both working all day. <laughs> oh, just a knife. <laughs> Just a knife in that guy right there. He can't even complain that he had a hard day. Oh, yeah, he can't. He goes, yeah, oh, you had too. a hard day. Yeah. You ever had writer's block? <laughs> <laughs> you ever had to go fucking shopping all day because you couldn't get over your writer's block? I almost got carpal tunnel. Can't say I have. <laughs>
So when it comes, when uh, he comes home from work, we're both on the clock for the rest of the night. <sighs> so the, basically the housework starts at six. When he comes home, she goes, I'm just got home from work. She goes, well, I'm just finished. Um, my work. Yeah. Uh, let me just hit that space. button. <laughs> Just command S here, save this bad boy, and uh, yeah, all right, let's get to work. <sighs> okay. She got the cucumbers on her eyes. When <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the best part? Yeah. I'm actually, actually, enjoy, I'm actually happy the fact that you haven't read this one, so I can tell you the best part. Oh, here we go. To be transparent, this has been an area for growth. For some years in our marriage, my husband didn't understand <laughs> and therefore appreciate all that I contributed. So she's saying for the first six years, the husband wasn't really on board. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get it, right? This is like a, this is like a big sales pitch, like on Dragon or whatever, Shark Tank, where she's trying to describe. She beat him down. She's trying to describe what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I don't get it. She goes, it's a new paradigm. <laughs> Of relationships, I don't. And for those reasons, I am out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new paradigm of trad wife. Oh, the moment they drop paradigm, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> this is definitely 100 percent the Uber for dogs of relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So my husband didn't love it. So for she five basically, years. it took her six years to just convince the guy to stop him. bot. To, yes, to convince the guy to just shut up and take it that she's not going to be doing anything. That's the deal. Yeah, yeah. Like he was kind of being like, I don't know, maybe you could like get a part time job. And then she's like, What don't I have? A I have a job. not only do I have a job, I have a career. Yeah, I have a career in journalism. Yeah, and she's also been unhappy that other people haven't seen that too. Uh, another widespread idea in the partnership with traditional gender roles is that the man in charge is the head of the household. In our family, however, we see ourselves as equal partners. So this guy is... Uh, he doesn't. He has no say. <laughs> I mean, not if you ask him after fucking three whiskeys. So basically, she sort of... She's the benefit with like... you're No, you're breadwinner 2.0. All removed benefits of being the breadwinner. <laughs> Get nothing. Get nothing. New school breadwinner. Winner. What does that mean? He goes, they took away all the benefits. <laughs> yeah, when he comes home and he goes, hoping that dinner is just waiting for him. Uh, no, but there's some groceries in the kitchen that you can, that you start, can, whipping you can start whipping up for us. You can start whipping up for us. That's my equal. second job as fucking cook. Don't you love being equal? <laughs> this quality says one of the hardest things about our traditional looking setup is the <laughs> traditional looking setup. Yeah, the, well, the problem is she has friends that come over and they go, so you stay at home all day and you've written one article in the year and the guy's a engineer and he makes pretty good money. Oh, so like kind of standard. That's what I'm doing too. She goes, mine's different. Yeah, yeah mine's different. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like, you must have. Yeah, I don't do housework. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Mine's different. Yeah, this is a different scenario. This is a. Tr I understand. By, believe me, I understand how, from the outside looking in, this does seem traditional because every part of it is traditional. But what you're missing is I don't do anything. Mm. Is the assumption people have made about me since I left my career and started living mostly home based life with the kids? Many seem to think that I'm not ambitious or maybe not even capable. This has been hurtful and it's even harder to embrace the traditional looking life. I mean, I will say, I guess she's babysitting the kids all day. Yeah, 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 that's well. The kids are at school, I guess. Is oh, the thing, okay. right? I don't know the edge of the kids because yeah, if the kids well, are just uh, if the kids are going off to school. Well, my right. argument is, and she's completely doing nothing. I mean, there's two sides of it. One is like, yeah, you're, if you're staying at home with the kids, then you're just like, so it is traditional. Well, she's yeah, like, no, because I remember we talked. I don't remember cook. the one with the guy. Well, she, she's just like, I don't cook. The British guy, and then he was like, he had to do the wife's work or whatever. Remember, yeah, that yeah, yeah, shared yeah. or whatever. And then a lot of people in the comments were like, yeah, it's a lot of work to take care of the kids. But if the kids are just off to school at 8 a.m., home at 4 p.m. Then well, you can imagine you the fucking the hell this guy has to pay if they have like a dinner party. They have some people over, and they're like, "Oh, so you're you're basically staying home with the kids?" And she goes, "What did you just he say?" Goes, he goes, "No, oh, did no, no, I don't. No, no, that's not. <laughs> no, 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 she works. <laughs> she works hard. She works very hard. She works very hard. Be like, well, you're mostly raising the kids. No, and just kicking them under the table. I mean, like she's doing that. Yes." <laughs> He goes, I don't do any of that. I don't fucking know their names and shit. I don't <laughs> That's all her. She's a lot of heavy lifting. I mean, she doesn't l literally lift stuff, but figuratively, a lot of heavy lifting. Well, anyways. <laughs> yeah. He's just like fucking... This guy is going to be hearing about it, though, if they have someone over and someone uh, mentions anything like that. So, oh, have you ever started thinking about your... Uh, uh, now that the kids are older, have you ever thought getting your career back together? She never stopped with her career. <laughs> Gets home. She goes, did you read my new blog post? He goes, no, I was so busy at work. She goes, you didn't oh, support me? Oh, you don't want to support goes, me? Let me just pull it up. And they're just trashing him. He's got to read this shit. <laughs> it's good. It's a good article. And in future, I plan to do even less. And <laughs> even less, huh? 
All right. 